to get going Gotta catch those runners taking off like a Boeing If the volume spikes, then it's time to trade Mighty 90 setting up, it's time to get paid Dr. Chad on the mic, time to get focused We don't need any indicator, hocus pocus It's all about the price, just watch it move Manage your risks so you don't lose First hour of trading is all we need Focus on the patience and forget about greed What is up, everyone? Happy Thursday, September 12th, 2024. PPI out today, a little hotter than expected. Not a whole lot of reaction from the markets, came down a little. Dow futures up 30, NASDAQ futures flat, S&P futures up three. VIX up just a little bit. So I think I will do my one DTE today. Roku up uh, over 6%. Everything else pretty flat, really. S and P coming down a bit here in the last minute. I'm going to ring here in about 20 seconds. Jobless claims also was as expected. There is the bell. Morning, El Piero. Dow futures open up in the red, and or, or Dow's in the red. You now it's kind of flat, I guess. Nasdaq down seven, S and P flat. Bear with me here. I'm going to try to get in my one DTE. Puts are a lot juicier.
Trying to get the field here. There we go. Post my one DTE in my channel. I'll probably be managing these. Yeah, I'll be managing a whole iron condor here probably. Hall's only 40 cents, but the puts are $1.80. All right, so 25% profit target, $7, eight, $8 fixed stop. Go. All right, Netflix pushing up, Tesla pushing up, Amazon, Meta. All right, getting our second bar here. Tesla with a four-point push up there. Morning, JG. No pullback in Tesla. Amazon pulling back just a little bit. Could be a potential upside continuation. We use the one DTE today and the one day to expiration. Apple coming down. Netflix straight up.
I was looking at Amazon, but it still popped up and had not come back down to where I wanted to wanted to get in. It's like Netflix is getting an upside volume runner. Tesla going to be close as well. Coinbase as well, maybe close. Man, I wish I would have jumped in that Amazon when it was down. Netflix is a little rich. Let's take a look at Tesla. Tesla I would trade the 227.5 calls. Build at 485. Got this little pullback going on right here as the bar is getting ready to end. Close half of my Tesla at. Five thirty-five. Already filled at five thirty-five. Wow. Pulls another Tesla at five ninety. I do big volume bar, no pullback. Coinbase, nah, got a red volume bar. Looks like Netflix kind of taking a pause. Yeah, I got in at 485 on Tesla. I'm sorry, 585. 585, not 485. If I said 485, I meant 585. Close to half at 535. Netflix pulling back a little bit. Wow, it's a really wide bid ask. No, oh, thank you. No, oh, thank you on that one. I 
NVIDIA pushing up to highs of day. <clears throat> Build at 590 to close another Tesla. Close another quarter at, at uh, seven. I'm sorry, 640. SP hasn't really went anywhere. It's just kind of stayed where it's at. Amazon, I was looking at a continuation of the upside there. It hasn't really pushed up yet. Looks like I picked the right one today. Netflix would have been a winner, but man, those were some wide bid asks. Baidu with another big volume bar to the upside, but it has got a very tight range. <laughs> no movement means no trade. No mighty 90s that I've seen yet. Looking at NVIDIA for continuation to the upside. Tesla coming back down. Coming back down further than I wanted it to. It's below where I got in now. Holy cow. Way below where I got in. Let's add some theta decay. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I got it at 485. It's at 460. It's at 460. So just a little bit below. Let's see, NVIDIA. 117 calls in NVIDIA. I get filled at two bucks. So it's coming down to yesterday's high there. 
There we go. Built it at a dollar ninety six. So I was wanting it to wanting it to bounce off yesterday's high. And it went through yesterday's high. It's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. See if it'll bounce back up here. S and P coming down. Pushed well through lows of day. <clears throat> One could have got into Tesla better than I got in. Well, you're going to get a big flush now, like yesterday. Just had a 12 point move down in the S and P and still falling. Man, had a nice, nice trade. And Tesla just wiped in one five minute bar. So NVIDIA's come down way further than I wanted it to. I'm not gonna panic. Just gonna. Let this bar finish. Closing my NVIDIA it has come that down too far. Can't get filled. And finally filled at a buck fifty-two. So that was a. <clears throat> that's two days in a row. Nvidia's got me. Looks strong out of the gates, and then just reversed. I was actually going to add to my Tesla too, but I got into. I got into closing. Nvidia. Added to NVIDIA at 375. And NVIDIA's popping right back up. Man, NVIDIA's done me dirty twice. Really thought it was going to bounce right off yesterday's low here. I'm sorry, yesterday's high. That's a key level. Got me.
We closed half my Tesla at four fifty. No mighty nineties or anything. Nvidia just popped right back up. Gosh darn. No, I I added to my Tesla. Look at Nvidia popping right back up. Gosh darn. Build at 460 to close half my Tesla. So good ad there. Close another one at five bucks. Yeah, I see NVIDIA popped right back up to where about where I got in. So that was a big loser. And within five minutes, it reversed. Yeah, AMD had a mighty 90. Looks like it would have worked. Filled it. Uh, 505 to close another Tesla. So Tesla turning out to be a dandy. Close another Tesla at 540. Yeah, like NVIDIA all the way back up. What are those call? What are those calls worth now? I don't know, 117 calls. Two of five. I got in at 196. Instead, it's a $704 loser for me. <laughs> ah, build it uh, 540 to get out, rid of another Tesla. Get rid of another one at 580. So a beautiful ad in Tesla. Baidu now with a big volume bar to the downside. You, you didn't stay in Tesla, El Piero, when I added? Ah. Uh. Yeah, you gotta give it you gotta give it a chance to bounce though. Yeah, you gotta give it that chance to bounce. You can't freak out. That's what plus it was right at this key level. See this key level I've got here at this this pivot. That's why I added to it. Yeah, I just mentioned Baidu. It had a big green bar and a big red bar. And it's moved about 0. 0.4 points. Yeah, my Teslas. I'm up I'm up real big at Tesla now. Thanks to the ad. But it could get all wiped away if it comes back down. Only Mighty 90 I've seen is AMD, and I missed that one.
Tesla can't get up through highs of day. I might just cut it, take my profits. Yeah, square, big volume bar of the upside. But again, Chris, you got to look at more than just the, just the volume bar. There's more to it. There's more to the story than just volume bars. There's price action. There's price range. Yeah, NVIDIA would have been a big old winner. So it was a big fat loser. So, it, but I mean, it came down further than I wanted it to. I mean, it's just like, I'm not like, I wanted it to hold above this bar, above the key level. It went through two key levels and then, and then even further down through it. So I'm not upset about my exit. But yeah, man, I've been a big winner too. You still in NVIDIA El Piero? Yeah, well, NVIDIA up to highs of day now. So I was right about it continuing higher. It just wasn't expecting that big pullback. Okay, nice. Yeah, I've got a I've got the big loser in Nvidia and you have the big loser in Tesla. Need Tesla to bounce though here. It's it's proving that it can't. Ah, come on. I still have five contracts left in Tesla, so I mean a big move down will wipe. I'm up over 1,200 on Tesla. Look at NVIDIA go. Wow. I don't even want to look and see what those calls would have been worth. India. Go, go, go. Yeah, bite you with another big green bar. Video through highs of day. See, Tesla just has not been able to get through highs of day. Man, if I could get a push to highs of day, this would be a monster winner for me in Tesla. (laughs) 
Not really seeing anything else. No clear cut mighty nineties. A mighty ninety and AMD would have been nice. All right, I'm going to take a look at those NVIDIA calls and see what they'd be worth right now. Wow. <laughs> 288. And I got in at 196. 16 contracts. Good Lord. Nice job, El Prio. Yeah, it's really pushing up. The Tesla's up about 1,500. But it, the more it comes down, the more it loses. It's still setting up like it wants to continue up. I mean, it's just, it's been kind of consolidating there between 229 and 231. Down to 420. I got in at 375 when I added. Let's go crazy. I'm going to add into Tesla again. Build it 420. Oh, I didn't expect it to come back down through yesterday's high. We'll get out of half at 460. So I had five contracts left, and so I just added five more to make it an even number. Yeah, I don't uh I don't I don't add in like this very often. Yeah, I did the same strikes. The old one DT is not getting much theta decay. Amazon not really moving, Meta's not moving. Tesla's moving just enough to book profits. Tesla looks like it wants to come down to where it bounced again. 
or where it bounced that last time. Yeah, so not many, not many signals today, really. There's been some mixed signals on volume runners. Big green stock like Baidu, big green bar, big red bar, big green bar. Square, big green bar, big red bar. Yeah, 1DT is pretty much break even. It just hasn't been getting any faded decay. Need, need Tesla pop back up above yesterday's high. Yeah, a lot of chop, a lot of chop up with a lot of these stocks. Yeah, I should have maybe waited until price came down to that pivot again. That's a good price to get in at, get in at El Piero. Much better than what I got in at. Yeah, I'm not really sure which direction this market's going to go here. NVIDIA is kind of giving a little bit of a pullback here. You know, it's kind of setting up like an upside continuation. I don't know though. I can't. It kind of, yeah, it does kind of feel heavy. But SP trying to break out of a little consolidation area. I mean, the way we've had price movement in the S&P this week won't take long. It wouldn't take long to make a heavy market look like a one that's going to get strong. Should probably just close my Tesla when it was up about $1,500. Cause now it's now it's really struggling to get back up. Whereas some of these stocks are pushing up and so is the S and P. But you can still rip. I did not get a good fill, so look at look at Nvidia go back up to highs. Yeah, El Piero, you should have gotten out of half of yours. Any four sixty, it's currently at four thirty. It's 
what happens when you don't get a good film. Look at that push up in the S&P. Man, give me another one of those days for TLC, isn't it? Meta went right above that highs of day into that uh you can see what you can see here at Meta where it finally broke out just a touch. There we go. Filled at 470. Close half of my Tesla. So now I'm back to five again, five contracts. Close another one at 510. Man, this could have been a really big green day for me if I would have, if NVIDIA didn't come down so far on that push. There you go, El Puro. Way, way to fight back. Yeah, I'm going to have a green day, too, because I'm not going to get in anything else. Took a minus 704 in NVIDIA. Man, if Tesla could ever push up to highs of day, like, like Meta's doing, like, look at Meta. That's beautiful. Then I, this could be a really big trade after entering, adding back in a, like three times. Wow, look at the S&P go. About a 15-point move in the S&P there. One DTE is now up a little bit. All right, Tesla, you got to go now or I'm getting out. I still have five. I'm at... Plus about fifteen hundred Tesla. So take that minus seven oh four, and that's what my profit is right now. My best fill in Tesla has been five forty. No, no, five ninety. Currently trading at four seventy five. Or eighty, so I mean, it could still go up a dollar ten. That was my best fill. That would be that would be awesome if, if it could do that. But things sure things really turn around quick in terms of how the market feels. Went from feeling heavy to just like that, ripping up. Tesla just can't get back up above this spot. I, I feel like if it does, it'll go. Like, come on. Like, it can get up to 231. That's some piece still chugging up.
Build at 510 to get rid of another Tesla. <clears throat> Get out of another 550. Look at Apple. No downside to Apple after that uh, fourth bar. Oh, one DTE. It's still sitting good, but it could use the United States S&P would just stop. For a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. So again, Tesla's at this point where it, it it has failed to break through here. How many times? One, two, three. So if it shows any signs of coming back down, I'm just getting out. I'd like to get through this bar and see what the next one offers, which will be in 15 seconds. Yeah, look at Meta. See, that's that's what I've been waiting for. Look at Meta here. That's what I've been waiting for Tesla to do. Nvidia touched highs of day. Nowhere close to uh, entering a TLC trade, that's for sure. Video going through highs of day, right up to highs. Unbelievable how I messed that up. There NVIDIA goes right through highs of day. Yeah. Tesla just can't do it, I don't think. If I get out right now, I can promise you it will shoot through highs of day. Anybody else still in Tesla? Can anybody take one for the team? Get out? Look at NVIDIA go. Bummer. Bummer.
Look at NVIDIA go. Good Lord. And down comes Tesla. Gosh darn it. All right, I'm closing Tesla. I'm going to move on with my day. Still at 410 to close. So plus 1390. Still great, but it was up to about 1700. All right, folks, again, be careful with your position sizing today. It looks like we could be in for another wild ride of price movement. So everybody have a good one. I will see you during power hour. Peace.